I'm Mr. Burt and I teach marine biology and on Tuesday the marine biology class went down to the waterfront centered in Oyster Bay at Beacon Beach and we're getting samples for our saltwater tank here. Every week we try to get out down to the waterfront during our long block um, so the kids can actually explore on their own. We usually have some sort of lesson plan we're talking about. Uh, this one was just to get stuff for the uh, for the fish tank itself. Well I think we have a, a lot of amazing teachers especially our teacher Mr. Burt um, that gives us the opportunity to go to Oyster Bay and to look at all these organisms that I don't think um, we would be able to see at any other school and especially since we're so closely located to the water. I was at Beekman Beach in Oyster Bay with my marine biology class and at the time I thought it was a regular mud crab and it just had some extra mud on its claws and I did not think anything of it at the time. But we actually saw it um, as it was coming out of the freshwater stream. There's a little tunnel with some rocks, like a little waterfall, and it's kind of like crawling and scaling down the waterfall. Um, and we saw it, like its claw sticking out of the water, which is pretty cool. At first, like Rob said, it's not. We didn't think it was anything that special. But then once our teachers started talking about Mr. Burton and VJ, we kind of realized there's actually excitement around the crab, and how it hasn't been seen before. Uh, we're looking through our guidebook trying to figure out what it was and it wasn't in our guidebooks. So finally we did some Google search and we found out that it's called this Chinese mitten crab which is an invasive species to an island. Actually only recently um, found here in New York. The students caught it as it was coming out of a freshwater stream, so it's one of the one of the few freshwater crabs that exists on our planet. And it starts off in freshwater and it goes to the saltwater to to breed. So hopefully we caught it before it started breeding. So uh, we reported them to the Department of Environmental Conservation, and they actually just responded uh, this morning. The kids get really excited, and for um, it, and since we have the crab in here now. A lot of the other classes have gotten really excited about it too. So not just the marine bio class, but the chemistry classes that are in here, the physics classes that are in this classroom, they're all coming in here and the kids are talking about it. Yeah, it's very cool. Actually yesterday I walked into class and there was a bunch of lower scores and I had to explain to them uh, where we found the crab and how and what was the importance of it. A big part of the Quaker education is uh, being one with the environment, right? Uh, sustainability is a big thing, stewardship is a big thing here. Um, so I think it's really important to play a close attention to uh, the role that humans have with the environment, in this case the marine environment. Um, and I think it's, it's great to be able to learn about what we can do for the environment um, and also what they can do in, in turn for us.